Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt. This is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Fargo episode seven. Yeah, seven. What'd you think of the last episode? Absolutely insane. Could be a tie with the first episode for craziest episode of the season. Just so much death of characters that I thought would maybe stick around to the end. Yeah, we talked about it extensively at the end of the last episode, but I am very interested to see what the fallout from all of this is gonna be. Yeah, I mean, we're on a Fargo tear right now. Yeah. This is like our third or fourth episode today, just because yeah. we are just so invested into this story. But yeah, the fallout from last episode, I assume is going to be insane. Yeah, so we just finished it. We're ready to get into the next episode. Trying to record as much as possible before this baby comes. <laughs> so um, I'm excited. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the episode. <gasps> was that, maybe that wasn't blood. Maybe it was her hat. For Pearl the Chief? <sighs> Even Sam Menace. If you want this to go away, you gotta give him someone. Oh man, he gave him someone, all right. His brother. Hospital. That's a good sign. Breakfast time, though. It's supposed to be family time. Oh. Oh, it's in reverse. Meteorologists are saying the incident was probably caused by a tornado. Wow. This developing news story a little later tonight, along with our meteorologist. So your original idea was correct. I mean, I didn't think there was a tornado. <laughs> But yeah, like an act of nature. Right. Ooh. If only you double checked your backpack. Nice. Yeah, mining for some gold. No funny stuff today. So is someone gonna call it in or is someone gonna find it? Yeah, right? Or do they have metal detectors? Cause that's the world we live in. And the train's coming and he'll just away, huh? And he Oh! It's not loaded too, right? It's empty. Yeah. Just like, what's going on? Yeah. Gordo's been arrested and the cops are here. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Gordo brought a gun to school and they're tearing up the house. Hey, they got a search warrant. Don't, don't let them. You can't not. Yeah, they already have the search warrant. He's probably concerned about that giant machine gun. Yeah. That is the least of your concerns. Ooh. <laughs> nice right driving. Now. Oh! Now, Bill, I asked hold on. Son of a bitch! Why is she freaking out? Because her kid had a gun. You look real guilty, especially since your wife just came up slapping you. Who is Pearl taking these photos for anyways? For sure wasn't for Lester. It looks like it may have been for Lester because he had them, but. Damn, their life is over. Yeah, all of their lives. Ooh. That was a good spit. And Lester's couldn't be happier about it. <laughs> Still has no explanation for the shotgun. Right. Three people murdered in two days. And now a kid brings a gun to school. It was Gordo Lester. My Gordo? <laughs> My Gordo? Backpack, unloaded, thank gosh. But still, you can't. We know you were in the room when Vern was shot. You had a shotgun pellet in your hand, same as killed Vern. And how does that not massively incriminate him? So he thinks he's covering for his brother. Was your wife having an affair with Chaz? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Photos at his place. Suggestive. I don't want to talk about boudoir photos. To sleep with your own brother? I know. Man, Bill. We all know your brother had a temper. He broke a guy's nose once just for cracking wise at the state fair. He had to do community service. Wow. He's a line and sinker. Bill's just eating it up. And they were arguing in the basement. I heard the voices. And she says... You know, you're not half the man your brother is. 
Really, Lester? That was the most unbelievable thing you said. <laughs> I try to get to Pearl, you know, to check if she's... And Jazz says to me, Lester, this was an accident. I hit her with a hammer. <clears throat> and, uh... He finally is, like, telling a story. I wanted to say something, Bill. I swear. But... You were afraid. Oh, I was afraid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And he goes in the back. <clears throat> Where you kept the shotgun. Where I kept the shotgun. I should have thought of that. The shotgun. I know. I know. He's even just finishing his story for him. No, I should have stopped him. I, sh I should have said right away. But I was afraid, like you said. And now it's... I want you to throw the book at me. <laughs> Put me in jail. So then you got shot and then went back downstairs? She was. Yeah, he's gonna say he went down to check on her and then he hit him. Again. That was a great performance, though, both in the show and real life. <laughs> and of course, the only person who's suspicious is currently in a hospital. Wow. That was incredible. Is that more evil than Lorne? Yes. This is his brother. Lauren's just like got a screw loose. Oh, we're gonna see what happened. Who'd you shoot, Molly? Oh, it's Lauren. Oh, it is. But she shot someone else. What the fuck, Molly? You would see your main suspect and then turn away from him? Yeah, I am. Oh, so she didn't even pass out. Did she even get hit? Or did it just go through her jacket? No, I think she got hit. So then who did she shoot? You got shot. I shot you. I assume he'll lie. I don't think she knows that her dad... Shot him? Her? Yeah. Did he write it down? Well, I had him on... So this other fella popped up. Look now, I I I, I gotta you tell you something. What happened to the fella I shot? They, they they got him upstairs. Okay, so it's got to be the deaf guy upstairs. I hope, unless it's some random. I shot you. Well, that don't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> you were out there alone, needing backup, and and I shot you. A spleen. I'll get you a new one, I swear. <laughs> Where are you going to get a spleen? There's going to be an inquiry. Blizzard and whiteout conditions, and I... Well, I could have shot you just as easy. Mm -hmm. No. Messing things up from the go. I'm... Hey, now. It's enough of that. She's so nice. Oh, it's just a spleen. I was watching the restaurant. Screw the damn restaurant. Yeah, get out of there. You kind of kill you. You kind of need your spleen. Do you? I think so. You can lose your appendix. Oh, and your gallbladder. Go for your plan. That's what you want to watch. <laughs> Range Smith says you put down a guy with an assault rifle. So it's a deaf guy. No, he was pointing at me. Does he have a spleen? Not the dad. The <laughs> the hitman. <laughs> even her dad i wonder if he'll finally call the cleaning company he's got his hand fixed cops are off his trail well now he probably doesn't want any evidence yeah exactly clean this whole area up so no one can come back yep cleaning no job too tough didn't they give you a specific company for shit like this yeah not just some poor cleaner well, I, I'm not gonna lie, it's a real mess. <laughs> That's our bread and butter. A murder. Oh, I had a break in, huh? Yeah, it's a, a little worse than a break in. Oh, let's just say there's a lot of blood. <laughs> no, thank you. That's why you have a specific company. Yeah, because that sounds sketchy as hell. I feel like I would enjoy water aerobics. Yeah. What is this? 
It kind of looks like Lester's brother, but old. Oh, no, he's the uh, main person on the phones for all the mm. all jobs. Wonder if Lauren will be back. I assume he's in there. So I noticed you got a pin on your map in every state but Georgia. The hell do you got against Georgia? <laughs> Two hombres took a run at me in Duluth. Mexicans? That's the wrong part of the sentence to be focusing. <laughs> Who do I see about this in Fargo? You know I can't. Did you put them on me? This is a business of relationships. I can't just... Of relationships. No calls. Not about you. Yeah. So whatever it is, it's got to be personal. Didn't channel through this. Who do I talk to in Fargo? Okay. I was going to say, people aren't screaming. So a hearse, I yeah. assume? I wonder if he knows she shot him. Uh, probably. Some paper. Right, but you, you, you read lips? Okay. Stop mumbling, Molly. <laughs> Be clear and concise. Realize you're both going after the same person. Do you remember me from before? In Bemidji? The insurance office? Oh, that's right. Your friend is dead and... You're going to spend the rest of your life in jail. And for what? Well, why would he spend the rest of his life in jail? Technically, all he did was just shoot a gun in public. He didn't kill anyone that they know of. Or even injure anyone. True. I feel like he wants Lauren for himself. Yeah, no, he's going to be out for revenge. Do you understand? Evidence has been Sir, turned turn it's been falsified. And, falsified. and if I could just talk to my brother. I mean, this cop isn't going to do anything anyways. No. You need a lawyer. Yeah. Where are you? Transfer to county. You'll be there until the trial. Damn, transferring to county? You might have a real rough time. Does he even have a lawyer? <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen him make a call or anything. You're so all- So much judgment. I know, you're all wrong. Jeez. Just back to work. I'm the victim here, you know. Of course. So. Of course you are, Lester. I was just about to call the widow Hess. Yeah, her claim has been denied. Oh. Seems Sam stopped paying the premium. Shame, really. I mean, good for us, though. Man. Yeah, she's going to be pissed. Why, why don't I take that off your plate? Right, tell her she has a good cry and that's that. Otherwise, she's going to be all claws out. That makes sense. Yeah. He just wants to sleep with her. <laughs> He's going to come up with some bullshit to be like, oh, I have a workaround. If you give me a reach around. Come in. What are you doing up? Don't have a spleen. I uh, brought you some uh, flowers. Oh, thanks. Maybe you don't need a spleen. It's making my head hurt. This whole case, all the moving pieces. It is a lot. Some kid brought a gun to school or something. Oh, you don't even know the development? Yeah, Bill just like didn't tell her? Who's a deaf fella then? Fell upstairs, tried to murder me with a bazooka. Oh yeah? Sam Hess, right? Yes. Alleged ties to organized crime, this operation out of Fargo. When Hess gets killed, maybe Fargo sends these two boys to figure out what happened. Nice, Molly. Get to finding Lester. And he sends them here. Got it, Molly. So Lester knew that Malvo was here. It would appear that way, yeah. That's ammunition, right? Oh, yeah. You betcha. But then she doesn't know about what's going going on with the brother. Right. The whole development has changed. Thanks for these. He bought me flowers. <laughs> you keep your chin up, Gus Grimley. We're winning this thing. Ugh, I love Molly. Don't shoot her again. <laughs> Ooh, we're in Fargo. Have we been? Oh yeah, I guess we've been in Fargo to see this mobster guy. Yeah, I'm very curious if how much Lorne has figured out. Right. I mean, he knows Fargo. Give me 
Oh. Damn. Oh. And lunch is over. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Jordan Peele? Key and Peele? Do you know the conditions of a modern fast food restaurant? I'm not just talking about hygiene. Get bent. Oh, that's gotta be Malvo. Yeah. They did an experiment once. Scientists took two. Oh man, are Key and Peele about to get murdered immediately? At one. Calling it all kinds. <laughs> Giant gun. I swear to God. Oh. No way. Wow. Damn, I wish we could see this. But he's definitely just wrecking shop in there. Third floor, private elevator. Oh, no! Jeez. All these interrogations followed up by a gunshot. They gotta hear the alarm now, right? Key and peel? Yeah. Get it! Get it! Jeez. He's unstoppable. Oh, you didn't hear all of this? What was that? Call it in. Oh, sh okay. Call it in, man. God damn it, Key and Peel. Where are you? Hold on. You got me all. Don't go in there. Back up a few feet oh. and then pull Can back in like we just arrived. Focus. <laughs> pull like. <laughs> Shit balls. That's the Australian sounding guy, right? Yeah. Okay, let me do the talking. Why? I can do because we talk bad shit. Get back! Happens. FBI! You're FBI? Oh my god. Well, no, no, it's no, a no, body. He, well, he doesn't know. It's a... Lock it down. The multiple gunshots, the shooter's still inside the building. No. We're going in, back us up. James, you follow us. Come on. At least they're not in danger, because the danger is walking away. Uh... Yeah, how's he gonna play this? It's about time. I've been calling. Sorry about the delay. My name. Thanks. He's already in. You look real nice today. Thanks. Boys home? No, thank God. Oh, home alone, huh? Got one of those for me? Why, Lester. Whole new man. When do I get the money? It's like I said, there's a few more hoops. A skilled middleman such as myself comes in. You see, it's all about knowing who to call. Palms to Greece. Oh, right. I know a little something about greasy palms. <laughs> well, why don't you and me have another drink? You can show me that. <laughs> Is he just staring at him? Yeah, right. He's like, take this, Sam Hess. It's like no remnants of even kind of the same Lester. No, yeah. Old Lester died. Should take you home and put you to bed. Just be a second, I promise. Won't be a second once you find out. Well, Chaz isn't there anymore. So I'm like... That's true. Is anybody going to tell her? Didn't she hear? It was his brother, Chaz, the whole time. He was having an affair with the wife. I got to talk to Bill. Where's Bill? Over at Bernard's. I'm supposed to go over after my shift. They're not going to listen to you, Molly. Yeah. I mean, none of it makes sense. But Molly's not going to be able to break through. No. You okay, hon? She's losing. Damn. All right. That was episode seven of Fargo. What'd you think? That was an interesting episode. Kind of cleaning up the aftermath of the last episode a little bit of a breather episode but it was still like frustrating like if you're team molly which obviously who's not yeah at this point but to you know come face to face with the deaf fella <laughs> as she <laughs> called him and obviously he's hurting like we saw him cry he's asking about his partner but he gave her nothing Essentially, even though she, it seems like she kind of figured it out. Yeah. And then you have Gus who just feels bad. Just Gus. <laughs> He's not really doing much. <laughs> he hasn't helped out a ton so far. But then this huge fallout, aftermath, whatever you want to say, of Chaz. Yeah, that was probably the biggest development is how much Lester prepared. Obviously, we have this massive 
shift in Leicester, which we were kind of getting teased. It's full on here. There's no old Leicester. I mean, he successfully framed his brother. He's happy yeah. about it. He, you know, obviously prepared his story so that things would kind of line up correctly. Mm -hmm. He made the whole department believe it. Everyone, the way that they were judging Chaz, the way his wife was judging, like everything is just perfect for Lester to the point where now he has the confidence to go have sex with, you know, Hess's wife as like a revenge. I mean, the fact that like he's making love to a woman and he's staring at Hess's photo it's just like, there's your priority. Yeah. It's not like he's like, ooh, I like her and she's like pretty and I'm into her. He's just like, no, this is Chaz's wife, so I want to sleep with her. Yeah, no. no. not Chaz, uh, Hess's wife. Hess's wife, yeah. No, it's just some like sick revenge. revenge. Um, I mean, he's having flashbacks of the interaction of being bullied by Sam while this is happening. Yeah. Um, he's obviously being very aggressive. <laughs> she's... She saying was, that he's hurting her. Yeah, multiple times she was like, you're hurting me. So he just used his position at the insurance company as leverage. Yeah. Oh, he. I mean, full on lie, too. I yeah. mean, it wasn't like he was like, oh, OK, I'll, you know, use this to my advantage and she still gets paid. He's just blatantly lying to her. He got what he wanted and now she gets nothing. Yeah. So I don't even know how he's going to handle this because I'm assuming She's gonna keep calling, and then the owner guy is gonna be like, I thought you went and told her. I could see him having the type of personality to finish and be like, by the way, you're getting nothing, bye, and then leaving. Yeah, I mean, I guess he could do that, or he could just like quit his job at the insurance place and it's just like, bye. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So clearly there's gonna be a very angry Hess's wife after she finds out she's not getting the money. Him like talking up himself that he's uh, like the middleman that can, you know, just you got to know who to talk to and whatever. Right. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah. It's just all it's all fake, but it's this newfound confidence that's driving it. We'll see how long it lasts for him. I keep thinking about like the what I said was the most unbelievable part of his story is him saying that his wife was like, you'll never be the half the man your brother is or something like that. Right. When it's like- The exact opposite yeah, is true. No, she literally said that about you. Anyone that knows your guys' relationship would know she would never say that. Right, everyone's gonna know like, what do you mean? Lester was the loser yeah. in the family. Yeah. So it's been interesting to see Lester's just arc into total darkness essentially this was a frustrating episode i feel like we do have a good balance of like oh my god that episode was insane and then other episodes where it's like no like we're going backwards so it's like obviously with the brother being captured for all of it the department police department is celebrating as if they're just done there's zero chance molly is going to be able to convince them without some sort of substantial evidence or something yeah i mean maybe they can get it out of the deaf guy or the fbi will kind of come into play because of what happened in fargo so her like whole theory is more feasible yeah that's a good yeah i, I don't know if like key and peel are here is just like a funny thing like the, yeah the creators are probably like huge fans so they're like hey we got a spot for two characters yeah. can you come over for a day of shooting or something yeah or if it's actually something where we're going to have them as characters until the end and the fbi will play a role in all of this um so that's a really interesting point because i mean molly essentially has the exact story correct story yeah on a window i mean she's incorrect about lester like paying for the killing. Yeah, she thinks it was like a hitman scenario with Sam Hess. Where it's more of just like a evil fate scenario. Yeah, I mean, he was just at the hospital, same time, same place as Lorne and opened up his mouth about being bullied to someone who is clearly unhinged and happy to kill. Right. So yeah, I don't think there was any malicious intent in the beginning. And Lauren, using the fact that he's like, well, you never said no. Right. was like. Now you just wanted to kill. <laughs> yeah. So other than that, which that's a very minor detail uh, in the grand scheme of things, she has everything perfect. Yeah. So she just needs to prove it. But because this episode was so frustrating and we're going backwards and 
bad characters are winning, we end the episode with Molly just defeated. Like, she doesn't even know what to do next, where to go, like... Yeah, I mean, obviously there's no point in her going to their celebration. One, they're probably all hammered at this point. And two, like, they are celebrating this victory. Like, they think they have it. So her going in right now, it's not going to work. Like, she needs more. Right, yeah. So I think, I'm hoping Gus will come into play and her dad might step in more, especially because he's obviously prior to her getting shot was extremely worried about her. Now he's going to be even more worried about her. So he might take more of like a hands-on approach. Yeah. Because she already got shot. Yeah. She's clearly not over this case and like she's essentially losing and like he can visibly see his daughter breaking down. Like right. he's got to, you know, have the urge to step in yeah. at some degree. Uh, I assume Gus has to come in clutch with something at some point, like we can't just have him as a character who dresses like every episode like, oh, geez, I shouldn't be a cop and then shoots Molly. And then the episode's like, God damn it, you shot her again or something. <laughs> so I assume he's going to help put some pieces together. He's got to redeem himself. We're rooting for you guys. Yeah, especially because that was such a, a beautiful interaction when she was like, oh, dad, my flowers. Like yeah. he got me, he bought me flowers and stuff. Like she clearly likes Gus a lot. Gus obviously likes her. I'm still very hopeful for a union of families towards the <laughs> end, but it's it's genuinely not looking good. Lester is getting away with more. His brother, it's way too easy to frame him. Yeah. And Lorne Malvro, Mal, Malvro. Malvo. 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 <laughs> Lorne, he's just too good. Like he literally just decimated how many guys? Probably well, dozens, like walking right in front of the FBI, walks into a building, kills dozens of people probably, and then walks out. Like, Yeah, I mean, you say he's too good. He is obviously good at what he does, but we're dealing with so many like incompetent people as well. That's a problem too. Like yeah. not only is he just very good, but everyone is so incompetent that he can literally walk right in front of FBI agents who are staking out the building. And then the only time that they catch like notice is when someone falls out of the building. Like the whole alarm was going off for like a good at least minute. Yeah, it was like a minute of like straight alarms yeah. and gunfire. Yeah. And they were right across the street and nothing. And then he walks out of the building. Like he is just capable of walking out. He walked out of the police station. He walked out of the blizzard. He's walking out of this massive gunfight, which that was cool how they shot it. Yes, because that, was that, really cool. that probably the budget of shooting that scene probably would have been like half of the show's budget <laughs> to have this massive gunfight throughout yeah. this building. So that all was you a, needed to do was hear it. Yeah, you just needed the noise because you know how intimidating of a character Lauren is. Yeah. So you can make up the rest in your mind. Yeah. Another great episode, just frustrating. And I generally don't really know where we go from here. I don't either. I think I think it's going to be up to Molly and Gus and maybe her dad to try to find more on Lester. Lester, maybe his confidence is growing too much and he's going to slip up for something. Yeah, I could see Lester slipping up because he is not this person. I, I don't no. feel like he is. Like, he is this person for an episode but he is not this person his whole life. No, so I don't think he's gonna be able to like perfect it. Right. So I don't know. And then I don't know what's next for Lorne. He obviously, he got rid of his boss. So he's not gonna be sent on more stuff. Yeah, he's just on a killing rampage. So yeah. it's like- But he's... now it's like, who does he have left to kill? <sighs> he's just gonna do his own thing. He's just a wolf who's out there hunting people. Yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, he killed a ton of people this episode. It was also interesting to have no development with the supermarket king. Yeah, I'm wondering if we're never gonna see him again. Yeah, because I mean, Lauren got fired by him, never got the money, but it was never really a full guarantee if he cared about the money anyways. Yeah. Or if he just cared about the fucking up experience. Yeah. I could see that not playing a role unless someone stumbles onto that money again. Yeah, because, I mean, this is really about Lester, like, from the start. Right. So, the Supermarket King was just kind of a side story for Lorne. As big of a story as it feels, you're right, it is kind of like a side story to 
a Lester situation. Right. So very interested to see how this is going to play out. I Molly is looks like she's breaking down, but I have confidence that she's not going to give up. Yeah, she has the whole story. She yeah. just needs a little bit of proof somewhere to just have everything fall into place. Yeah. So we have three episodes left. That's it. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we are blowing through this today. This is it for tonight. <laughs> this is it for today. So we might not watch this for a while. Or the next time we watch this, there might be a little child in our life, <laughs> which is crazy <laughs> to think about. Only a few episodes left, but this was great. Yeah, no, I'm loving the show. Three, I'm sure, very strong episodes left. Oh, for sure. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.